Hi everyone, just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Yep. Okay, Linda, yep. Okay, awesome. Well, welcome to today's webinar, everyone, on uh, staying grounded for your spiritual and physical health. So how are we all feeling today? Yeah, Linda's feeling good. That's good, Linda. Good to hear you're feeling good there. Fiona, good morning. Good yeah, morning to you too, Fiona. Okay, so now without further ado, let's get into today's webinar. So today's webinar, I thought I would talk on the importance of staying grounded. Because when we're doing this kind of energy work all the time, when you do it regularly, then as you can imagine, it's very easy to go all up in the air and be up in the cosmos and in your own little world. Now, while, now while we need that for when we're clearing, we don't want that when we're doing day-to-day -day tasks and when we're doing more physical stuff. Because the trouble is you don't want to be a complete airhead and in like a, in a kind of loosey goosey kind of thing. Cause then that's how you get shit like the love and light movement and stuff like that. And where you can even start to believe shit about like evil, not existing and all this kind of stuff. So staying grounded is just as important as doing the energy work because the trouble is when you don't stay grounded. So not only will you be a complete airhead and you'll be just up there all the time, but you're also away, you're away from your body. You're, it'll be, it'll disconnect you. And, and it can also, it can also leave you open to entities invading your body, because if you're not taking control of your body, then the dark, then the dark entities and spirits will happily do so. So really it's about taking control of your own spiritual and physical health because the physical health is very much connected to your spiritual health and what's going on up there. So you, you want to be making sure that you stay grounded. So like for myself, staying grounded for me means taking a walk and listening to good music and, and something like that. So just type in the text chat what helps you to stay grounded, whether it's like reading, whether it's going for a walk or running or whatever, just type in the text chat what it is that keeps you grounded. Linda says listening to spiritual audio books. Well, that's good then Linda and Fiona being out in nature. Yeah, being out in nature is a very good way of grounding for pretty much anyone, I find. And on the farm? Yeah, absolutely. Because nature and the farm, it's not only spiritual, but it's very much physical. Because you're walking out there with, with the grass, with the trees, with the animals, with the birds. So everyone has their own ways of grounding. So the main thing is to stick to your way of grounding and not try to do like do it, do what someone else does. So it's important that you stick to your one, even if it seems a bit silly and all. So Linda's way is to listen to spiritual audio books, Fiona, being out in nature and the farm. My way is going for a walk and listening to good music. So we all have our own ways of it. And you'll find it's very rewarding and beneficial for you as well, because, because when you do it, then you'll not only be helping your spiritual health, but you'll also be helping your physical health to go along with it, to coexist together rather than being at war with one another. So you'll really reap the benefits of it and you'll, and you'll find it easier to stay in your own energy and in your own body. And um, you, and also you, you won't leave room for dark entities and dark spirits to invade and do as they please, because that's what I found that a lot of people in the love and light movement and that kind of thing generally have a lot of entities and a lot of stuff going on inside, even though they won't admit it. So, um, so that's why it's very important that you stay grounded as well as doing the energy work. You're doing the two as one. 
So, so even after you do a clearing or experience one, you could even do that grounding to bring you back into your body. And so, and so you're basically living on earth as you are in heaven kind of thing. Okay. So now what we'll do is the clearing here. So we'll do a clearing to foot to ground you back into your body. Okay, so does anyone have any questions or comments before we get into the clearing? Okay, yeah, no questions or comments. Okay, so now we'll just start the clearing. So everyone focus on this code and inhale the code into your body and into your chakras and your aura and just imagine it there and close your eyes and just start taking deep breaths relaxing your mind We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. We call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron, and Christ and Mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences, or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this energy clearing code be used to clear any blockages and imprints and self sabotages, stopping each person here from ground, staying grounded in their own body. And we also provide a third order escort to escort any discarnates or any other entities um, that have come in. So the astral planes justly earn now and contain any that resist and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. And clear any karma between each person here and these entities from past lives, this life and inherited karma. And burn up any contracts and clear any traumas or anything else or any other loopholes that kept them in there. And really just bring each person here back into their own body and back to the light now to Asia in today. We also clear any dark and negative energies as well from each person here. And cut and sever any draining energy cords as well. And bring back the, each person's vital force energy and re-energize them. <clears throat> Pull them out of any pits that they're stuck in.
We also clear around the mind and heart. <clears throat> to clear any erraticness in the mind and any hardness of heart. And really bring everyone to full abundant health and their original blueprint. We now pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the Father and the higher councils and from the Divine Mother as well. and balance each person here physically and spiritually <clears throat> and in other areas of their life in the other areas really bring them into balance and clear out any other emotional charges going on Oof. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Linda's feeling relaxed. Awesome, Linda. Yeah, it certainly got relaxing towards the end there. <clears throat> Daniela kind of heavy. Yeah, it was, it was pretty heavy at one point, especially clearing the entities and all because it's very easy to pick them up when you don't stay grounded. Because then, like we mentioned before, you end up up in the air and not with your body. Linda, my cat, felt the clearing too. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's awesome. Because, yeah, animals are very much sensitive to the energy. So they, if they're around, they'll very much feel it. Fiona, yes, karma for me. Yeah, awesome, Fiona. Christine, I feel as though something lifted. Yeah, that's true. I certainly felt that as well. Yeah, there was quite a few things that were clearing in that one. It was pretty, it was kind of intense, actually. Okay, so now everyone just take a glass of water just to integrate the clearing. Okay, so any final questions or comments before we end for today? Linda, no questions. Thanks, William. Yep, thanks, Linda. Fiona, not for me. Thank you. Yep, thanks, Fiona. Christine, no questions. Thanks, William. Yep, thanks, Christine.
Okay, yeah, so no questions or comments. Well, thanks everyone. This is another great clearing, another great session. Get a good rest tonight, drink plenty of water and integrate the clearing and make sure that you do that thing that helps you to stay grounded with especially doing this energy work regularly like this. So um, thanks again and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.